Hey guys, and welcome to The Crooked Man. Oh my god. Uh, I saw one video on this, and it looked really good. So I was like, I want to do that. I want to play that game. And so, I guess I shall. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak apart, and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Okay. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. That is just creepy. I don't know why, but just something about that scares me. Woo, finally things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else that we can help with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me this place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, I will. Oh, nice. The three of us should go out drinking. I look I look forward to it already. Well, we'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you do. Alright. I like the crack in the wall. Oh, oh, I'm playing. Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to I should get it to him if he's still around. Got to Paul's license. To what? Huh? You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, he told me to look for the place. Blah, blah, blah. Besides, you told me to look for the, to, for the place, right? Don't come complain to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look. I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Well, that's rude. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. How do I say it? Okay, yeah. Okay. Man, I'm tired. I like how he just walks into his bed and makes it look like he's sleeping. Oh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <sighs> Maybe one of those neighbors I'm going to pester you.
Oh. Oh. No. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room. I can hear you from my room even. What? Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room even. Okay. But, oh my god, they should take out the even part. Just just make it. It's just I can hear you from my room. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was sleeping until you woke me up. I'm trying to... Are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. S sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More, more importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? No. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I better get back to sleep. It was totally your imagination. Under the bed. Under the bed, is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. No, stop. <sighs> hmm? Found something. Not a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave it behind? Leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. That sound still. Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Oh my god. Hello? Hey, it's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uh, yeah? Thanks for all the... No, no I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept until noon. Better go. So much for taking it easy. Dude, sleeping until noon is taking it easy. What are you talking about? An old computer. Yeah, yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? My cat is, oh my god, she's making all sorts of noise now. Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Woohoo, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the bathroom mirror? What kind of childish brat do you dig me for, David? S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. A landscape painting. Okay. Oh. Mom, it's been a while. Are you okay? Oh my! If it isn't a little Timmy, you've suddenly grown! Good! Good. 
You look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off. So I moved into the but so I moved to this great play to this great room. With furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too. So when we get be so when you get better, we can live together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who are you? Oh, would you be... Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who, who are you? Say something, will you? M Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you to, into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy! Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, David, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, she said my... I said leave. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Can't go back in. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Alright, well I think I'm going to end that there. Uh, so far it is a really good game. I like it. Um, um, this is actually like my second RPG game that I've ever played. The first was To the Moon. That one was full of emotions. Oh my god. But anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!